Having grown up in the outdoors as a shepherd, old King David would have been acquainted with lions, right? You know, and of course we know from his testimony in 1 Samuel 17, 34 and 35 that he has killed at least one lion that was attacking his sheep. But he probably encountered many hungry lions more than once. And David knew even strong young lions could go hungry. But in contrast to those animals, he was confident that those who seek the Lord lack nothing good for them. Hey, hallelujah. Welcome. This is Michelle Gines and welcome to the See Yourself to Be Yourself devotional. Day number two, young lions on the prowl get hungry, but God seekers are full of God. That's Psalm 34 and 10 from the message version. Our life experiences often try to trump our knowledge of God, you know, but we must remember, right, that the word of God is truth and is life. It seeks to draw us closer to the father, that we might know him in ways that offer us practical guidance with godly wisdom. You know, of course, I like to take this time together for us to talk a little bit about those practical matters, right? You know, it's intended to help us overcome the thoughts in our head that tell us we have to suffer long and that we have to suffer often. And that's just not true. It's, it's not true. Those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. The good things of life are yours, but you must train your brain to see God's word in this way to help you when you lose sight of him. It's not the desire of the Lord to withhold good things from you. Rather, he wants you to seek him and remain full of God. We know that life isn't going to be hunky dory and picture perfect every day. What we think our needs will be met, you know, but if we think that our needs will be met, our needs will be met. And sometimes our needs are met in ways that are unconventional or different from the way that we expect them to come. You know, sometimes I might pray, Lord, I want you, I need a, I need transportation. I need to get to work. I remember, you know, times of days that have gone by when the car I was driving isn't the car that I'm driving now. You know, it was, I had a, a little bucket that we used to call them back in the days. I had a little bucket, but my bucket, you know, it would get me to work. But I remember that even before I had my bucket, I had the bus. And sometimes when you on the bus getting to where it is that you need to get to, you know, you feel some kind of way about that. But here's the thing. When we pray, you know, Lord, I need a way to get to work. Sometimes the transportation might be a method that isn't the finest and, and uh, greatest. But what, here's what I know about God, that even strong people, even people that we think have it all together, just like in the scripture, the young lions on the prowl get hungry, but God seekers are full of God. You just got to stay filled up. Okay, that's what I'm coming to do today is to just fill you up. It is just to remind you that, hey, even the, the giants sometimes fall down and sometimes you also will fall down, but you are going to have everything that you need, everything that you need. Don't lose sight of that. Don't lose sight of that. I want you just to know I am here to encourage you. Remember, we are activating what it is in God's word to remind us that he is loving us and that he today, he is fulfilling what you need because you are full of him. Keep on pouring, keep on reading your word. Keep coming back here each day. These days that we're spending together to make sure that you have what you need to stay fueled up, to train your brain to think on those things that are above and not the things that are on the earth. Hey, it may be that you might have to turn the TV off. I always hear about, you know, some of the things that are going on and that we see on television and all of that. And it's not to say that it, we should not be knowledgeable of what's happening in the world around us. We are and we should be aware of things that are happening, but be, don't make your knowledge of and awareness of all the stuff that's happening around us because we seeing those young lions that are on the prowl that are hungry. Hey, they, they hungry, but I'm telling you, if you stay full of God, you going to eat with the good of the lamb. You hear me? So let's get ready. You guys ready? We getting ready to activate this. So here's our activation this to this day. Y'all ready? All right, here we go. I seek God 
who has all good things. And in him, I have everything I need. There's no lack in my house, my spirit, or my faith. I am full of God. Y'all hear that? Let's do it again. Let's activate this. Say it out loud. I seek God who has all good things. In him, in him, I have everything I need. There is no lack in my house, in my spirit, or in my faith. I am full of God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you got it today. We're activating that we know that young lions go hungry. (laughs) They prowling around, but hey, those who seek God, they are full. I want you guys to stay full. Be blessed today. Keep thinking on God's word. Stay up, be up, brim up brim over and God is going to do great things in you. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow.